Question number two, Al, is again on integration, but this time it's integration by parts. You have definite and indefinite integrals. Definite integrals means you have limits in this integral, but indefinite are something like this, no limits. Now, it doesn't matter which type of problem in integrals, you can use the calculator method as long as it's an MCQ part. If four options are there, just use the calculator. Now, these ones, integration by part, especially when you have cosine x to the power 4 or more, it repeats. When you do integration by part, it keeps on repeating. So there's a shorter method. Now, this is just if you're interested to know the method. What we do is, whatever is the trigonometric function, we consider it in the table. So let's integrate cosine. It will be positive sine. Then what happens over here is after this first step, we write this x to the power 4 as it is. Now, next on, we start with plus, minus, plus. This keeps on going, okay? We have to keep on changing the sign. Now, integrate sign. What is integration of sign? It is cosine x, but since it's cosine, we are getting answer minus. Don't write plus c here. We write it only at the end. So, it's cosine. The next is what is the integral of minus cos x? Minus will remain. Cos x integral is sine x. Now, integral of sine x. Sine x is minus cosine. Minus minus will be cos x. Integral of cos x is positive sine x. Here, we have to just keep on deriving. X, 4 to the power, x to the power 4 will be 4x cubed. Then 3 comes down, will be 12x squared. 2 comes down, 24x and last to 24. Plus, minus, plus, minus. Now, you just write all these terms together. The first term would be this one. It's positive x power 4 sine x. Next is minus times minus. It will be positive again, 4x cubed cos x. Minus is only 1, so write minus to all x squared sine x. Next one is minus 24 cos x, 24x cos x and 24 sine x. Don't forget to write plus c only once we write at the end. This is the actual method to solve by integration by parts. Now this takes time. Uh, you might think, okay, this is so big, it will take a long time in the calculator. No, it's almost the same time, you know. So let's do the calculator method now. I hope your calculator is in radian. If not, press shift, mode, and 4. Now it will be in radian. Now here, instead of x, assume a value. I'm going to assume 1.5. x has 1.5 to the power 4. For this given question, multiply it with cosine 1.5. Close the bracket. And that's the answer. It's 0 0.3581. Now then, here you do not need to jump to all the four options. You need to look, what is this x power 4 cosine x, right? You will start with x power 4. If it is not starting with x power 4, ignore that. Some will may start at x power 5 or it might start at x cube. So those are not the correct options. Directly look into the option which is having x power 4 degree, whatever is the highest degree, that must be there. And over here, instead of cosine, you need to integrate cosine. What is the integration of cosine? Sine x. For the first term, you can easily deduce which is that. You will have at least two options starting with x power 4 sine x, I'm sure. And then others over here, the signs are the problem. So just look into those two options and let's type it out. Shift dy by dx. Now over here, you need to type everything. That's the only issue. But it's just typing, nothing else, you know. x power 4 sine x keep the variable x as it is now 4 x cube don't substitute 1.3 over here we substitute it at the end x is as it is a variable x now minus 12 x square sine x over here sine x minus 24 x that is alpha x cosine x plus 24 sine x that's it we don't put the c now what is the x value we assumed we assumed it to be 1.5 and look at the answer it must match and it is matching if you have done any error you need to be careful you it won't get the correct answer so please double check the uh, typings so what you have typed is it correct just double check in your calculator before submitting and since you're doing it in your physical calculator is much easier to type it out you know it takes time at times but as it is double check it and then press equal to and it should match this given question if it's not matching go to the other option one of that will match 
So that is how we solve these. Even over here, easily do the integration by parts by table. See, table method is easier, simpler. The other one, right, it will recur many, many, many times. You will get the similar answer. But the calculator is the easiest of all. But the stable method otherwise saves a lot of time because over here you are just deriving, over here you are just, uh, you know, integrating it, and over here it's plus, minus, plus, minus. The concept is you must keep it as it is in the first, only integrate this and then continue. I have seen students forget that. They miss out that and they just, you know, start this as the first term. That is a mistake. Now, when you're solving, when you're looking for the four options, which is the most likely answer, look at the highest degree that must be there. And what is the derivation of this? Over here, derivation, see, they have taken e to the power 2x out. That's fine, but that will be divided by 2. So that's it. Look at the most likely one, put in the calculator, you will get the correct answer. Even over here, since it's e to the power x, it's very easy. And that's it. Please do the other problems by yourselves. You can see it's a long answer. It will take some time to put in the calculator, but it won't take more than five minutes, you know. So practice well now. You'll, it'll be very easy. And that's the end of the question 12. Again, another easy one. Simply you can use the calculator and solve it up.